Hey YouTube, this is Dustin here from You Buy First, and today I wanted to review my iBidder, which is a popular eBay sniping utility that's been around for quite some time, and I've personally had a lot of experience with it in the past, and I wanted to take you through a couple of the main features and kind of highlight who it might be used for and a lot of the positives that uh, go along with using this eBay sniper application compared to some of the other ones out there on the market. Um, for starters, you, you start off here, I'm on the main page of my iBidder. You will have to use your eBay uh, credentials to log in, which is probably one of the only drawbacks that I see. Um, they've been around for quite some time and the site is uh, secure. But w once you log in, you, you know, in the, the back end here, is basically for setting up the different bid groups and options that you'll have and and be able to take advantage of once you actually get down to actually making some of the snipes the actual snipes themselves won't happen directly from the website login but um, you know under profile you can enter in your email address you can change the uh, skin of how this all looks and set your default country and how you want your listings to be sorted within here for review. Um, so again, really the back end is just going to be a container for looking at everything that's on your watch list, if that's how you add them in or whether you snipe directly from the browser and be able to customize it and see them in a way that makes a little bit more sense to you without having to export them to a Excel spreadsheet or whatnot. Well, one of the main features of my iBidder that I really enjoyed was the groups and groups can be used for a variety of different things and really will apply to whatever industry you're in whatever type of product you're trying to buy and and as well as you know how you bid for items whether you're trying to get hundreds a day or whether you're just trying to get a couple um, for me I use the bid groups to kind of give me a reminder is a lookup when I'm making a bid for the model um, a variant of it the condition of it and the price that I was gonna bid on it you know if you're going after more than one thing it, you don't want to make a wrong bid and being able to see this and apply a bid to a specific bid group and choose it right before you um, tell my iBidder that you want to snipe that item it's good to see those critical product information that uh, you have internally to make sure that you're, you're making the correct um, snipe to the product and you can also change it you know per group you know hey if you only want one thing or you only want 20 you know say you don't want to overload on something you just you know hey I want to have 20 and then stop and then have to be able to reset it you can do that here change it to all to 20 or you can change it to one where it'll bid on everything and that will not only just go across you know a specific product will go per bid group so you can set up multiples of those um, I'm sure there's a large number of variations on how someone can set that up um, but it really as I said just kind of varies based on you know your your sniping business and products that you're going after um, then you've got the again just the main interface that you're gonna see everything that you placed one on whether you know you want it you lost it whether it's waiting to be done now, a, a good combination between this interface here and the bid groups is, you know, say you made some error in pricing or you realized that, um, you know, price is changing for a specific product. Uh, you know, I've done cell phones a lot and knowing that the prices change on those quite often, I might have bid seven days in advance on thousands of listings. Well, at price change, I would be able to come in here and sort by a specific group and be able to change or end snipes that I had placed and be able to do that in a automatic way and do it in bulk and that's where I really found sometimes we'd say oh you know what we're gonna stop buying that for a week but we didn't want to have to go back and click you know cancel bid on thousands of listings we we're able to come in here and kinda of do that with some automation um, you know to get to the actual bidding my iBidder and one of its great functionalities is it runs as a add-on 
in Firefox or Google Chrome browsers and as you can see here this little nuke kind of looks like a nuclear symbol uh, is present which means the add-ons uh, you know here and and, and working uh, you would you know to snipe you just come to ebay.com you know a, a place where you're familiar with how the listings look you don't have to look at it in a third party utility that gives you some of the information and some others that are relative to making an accurate purchasing decision um, you'd come and you'd open up the listing you check it out you know this one I already had a snipe on so it actually loads it right here in the browser and tells me my max price which bid group it was on and then we'll go to one that you know this one's the starting bid starts higher than the price I would want to bid but let's say we would come to this one and you would just click this snipe with my iBidder over here and a little window comes up you would assign well the first time you would sign in um, I'm already logged into it you would assign it to a bid group hey it's uh, iPhone 5 Verizon it's showing me here 210 of course I will have to take into consideration the shipping cost which is probably the only downfall that I see with my iBidder, it would be nice if that calculated it. For me, I don't like to make a mistake, so I always just end up entering it in. Do my max price. Oops. So 203.80. It's going to have the default time to snipe before the listing ends. It's going to snipe it within three seconds and hit add. And I'm done. Um, you know, it'll automatically close in 10 seconds, and if you came back to the listing, you can make a change from it here as well, or do it in bulk from the online interface. Um, you know, if I come back here and I refresh, it's instant. It automatically shows up here, and that's why I really like it. It's really reliable on getting, you know, in time uh, back to the user interface. So, uh, you know, that's one of the main reasons why I really liked it is that I was able to continue using the regular browser and how I was used to seeing listings and have it as an add-on there and have being that it works for both uh, Firefox and Google Chrome um, you know users can use it whichever browser they prefer and they're they're normally working with uh, one of the other nice functions of my iBidder is that they basically have the exact same thing on a desktop version of the application as well so um, you know some people might not like the browser specifically or maybe they're doing them more in bulk and you know you would be able to have an interface here to be able to use a desktop utility as well um, you know that's normally for people who are doing them in quite a bit of bulk and want to be able to um, automate a little bit better than the, the browser login again um, everything syncs up uh, you know near instant real time you can sort by bid groups basically all the same functionality that you have on the browser version you'll have here and last of all that really makes this tool robust is it also has a um, mobile app for Android operating system as well as Apple and it's the basic version is free which allows you basically just to place your normal bid and if you want to use a lot of the other functions like bid groups and whatnot and actually be able to kind of log in and see your different snipes you would be able to uh, purchase that I believe it's $14.99 for Android and uh, maybe free for Apple I'm not sure I use the the Android version I thought I saw an update where it was free now for Apple users but that that's really nice because uh, I you can do a lot of bidding from mobile and the nice part is that when you're using the eBay mobile app and you share the listing you can actually share it to the my iBidder um, application so you don't have to do any copying and pasting of the item numbers it makes it go real fluidly for when you're on the the run and you might want to place a bid on something and the Android version does cost but um, you know for the price usually by the time you you know pot the first item where when you weren't at your PC it, it's paid for itself and they really put a lot of thought into making it user friendly um, you know overall I'd say my iBidder is a really good utility 
for your average bidder all the way up to your real power bidders that are bidding on many many things um, you know their forms section online is pretty active and the developers are on there and everyone you know you, you will post something and you'll get a response back you can get some ideas there's a a good little community around it and it is it, the software application as well as um, uh, sniping in general so uh, you know that that's another good thing I like being able to hop in the forums and ask a question and you know you can tell if you're wondering you know well who uses it how many do they have they do have this little statistic and you know as you see it's had they've had 215,000 snipes in the last seven days and winning snipes was 54,843 you can just kind of see really how many people are actually using it and 42,000 pending that um, you know really makes the you, you can see that probably the masses are using it it's a very popular tool and for me I found it to be you know the one that might not have the every exact feature where some of the other ones might have one little extra feature or something tailored towards a specific audience but overall being from the browser add-on to online login to desktop and being mobile and being reliable um, you know my iBidder is really tough to uh, tough to beat so uh, you guys should check it out I got the link down in the comments to go and download it and if you enjoyed this review and it helped you give a little bit of knowledge on my iBidder please uh, like uh, subscribe and comment uh, below. Thank you very much.